Hi, it's Rose, and today we're going to talk about some makeup, which is why I have no makeup on at the moment. And in the other video, I taught you some natural stuff, such as uh, honeysuckle for helping getting rid of the bags under the eyes and dark circles, which I've already applied a little bit today, but we'll do a little more to recap. Okay, this is made with honeysuckle essential oil. Because I made it in winter, but my preferred method is using fresh flowers and putting it in a cup of hot water, brewing it like a tea almost, and then putting it in a spray bottle. And that version you will need to keep in the refrigerator so it doesn't go bad. And I make small batches because it does not have a long shelf life, even in the refrigerator. <laughs> okay. And that honey stuff was pretty much all I do for foundation, which starting to brighten up under the eyes. It's not extremely fast acting with honeysuckle. You got to use it for a couple weeks straight for it to really show the difference and then you just use it periodically to maintain. Right. This next part I'm going to show you how to use powder and this is a mineral powder so it has health benefits because I like beneficial makeup. I'm going to show you how to do the arch of the eye. Now, when I do pluck, I just do from right in here and underneath here. I never pluck above, and I don't pluck in here, except a little bit down here to get this shape. Okay. And then I use the definer. If you have a mirror right here, I'm going to use two, or I guess I can use this one. You might be able to see it better. Okay. I will start by having the brush sideways. For this part, we'll start at the base right here and brush it up. And then you're going to want to kind of, once you get up here, it is no longer flat. You kind of give it a little turn so that the narrow end come down. And I stay towards the top part of the hair to give a higher arch. Now I need my little brush. Here. It's good to keep a eyebrow brush on hand. I keep one in my eyebrow dye kit. This is a henna dye that you can also use. I do use it because I am a natural redhead, so normally my eyebrows would not be this apparent, nor my eyelashes, if I didn't use the henna dye. Give it a good brush, kind of brush it up. And then over. Okay. I'm going to quickly do my other one now and then we'll move on to how to apply eyeliner. Well, I guess I could recap. Remember, sideways, horizontal. You start at the base right here and swoop up. When you get to this side, you want to turn it so that it's the narrow side sweeping down. I normally use the big mirror in front of me, so getting used to twisting to do it here. Yeah. Notice I do not put more makeup on the brush as I touch up because plenty enough stays in here, you know. Want it looking like you put it on with a sharpie. <laughs> and I like the coal eyeliner. It's the uh, black makeup that the Egyptians put on their eyes. It wasn't for looks. It was actually to protect their eyes from the sun. It was made of different minerals and stuff. And I 
order that instead of typical eyeliner because it does have benefits for the eyes. Okay, we'll see if I can try to show you how I do this. I'm going to lightly pull because if you don't want to pull too hard, you'll make the bags under the eyes worse doing that, which you can see mine. However, I'm 39, approaching 40, and pretty early in the morning, so... <laughs> I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to put it above the lower lashes in a very thin line. Okay. Touch it up and make sure my line is even. And again, just above those lower lashes. Because any time that I do it just below those lower lashes, I always end up with the raccoon eyes down to here. And with it above, you can still get it where it comes down a little bit, but then it comes down to just above the lashes, where the lashes are, and just below the lashes, giving a little smoky eye look. So it goes with the natural wear and tear of the makeup for the day better, for me at least. Might be different on other people. Okay. And a recap on the mascara. I I believe in the last video I taught you about mascaras that have benefits and I know that if it wasn't in that video, it's in another video that you can turn any mascara healthy by putting lavender essential oil, just a couple drops, help prevent bacteria, will help keep your mascara from drying out and it uh, makes it into a treatment for your eyelashes. It helps them get darker, grower, stronger, grower, grow more. <laughs> I keep both on hand because I like the mascara type in this one, but I like the brush type in this one. So I apply it with this, and then to get the look I want, I go back over it with the brush in this one. Sometimes, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. I always lightly wipe off the brush when I first pull it out because it always has such an excess of mascara. And if you get little dots right up above, don't. Try to wipe it off right away. I'll teach you how to get that without smearing a black smudge across your face. Okay, I kind of lightly, I do just underneath in a little upwards motion. I like to do that uh, instead of using the eyelash curlers because eyelash curlers can tend to break your eyelashes. And I'm going to use the brush to get more towards the base and get the lashes separated well.